My fellow gamers, welcome to yet another series that we are bringing to this channel called Just Another Review Online, or some stupid shit like that, because you know 100,000 people are going to be doing this. I'm also going to try to keep all these reviews to under 5 minutes, that way you guys can get what you need when you come in for a review. But, without further ado, let's dive right in. Quiet place. Shh. <laughs> Written by Brian Woods and Scott Beck. Directed by and starring John Krasinski. Or Jim from The Office. You know, that guy. It's finally good to actually be seeing him do something that's not The Office. Even though apparently he's done all of this stuff. I don't know. But uh, it also stars Emily Blunt, a couple kid actors. But the whole premise of the movie, I thought, was absolutely outstanding. It's Monsters That Hunt and pretty much have wiped out the entire extinction of the planet based off of sound. I'm not going to do any spoilers. I think there were maybe ten lines of dialogue in this whole film. And it worked incredibly well. It's all in one scene, and that scene was beautifully shot, in my opinion. It fit what needed to be said. And everything else was just the sign language that you see in the trailers. They say one of the most difficult things to do in recording or filming for a movie is doing a movie by yourself. Kind of like um, Will Smith for I Am Legend or Tom Hanks for Castaway. Both of which are phenomenal movies and the actors really brought to life. But I feel like this would also be a phenomenal challenge for most actors not being able to speak and just have to act for real. Um, all these actors brought it home phenomenally. Of course you have Emily Blunt who is great as always. John Krasinski has a magnificent beard and did a phenomenal job both directing and performing. Even the kids, they brought it home. Um, I think it's a nice breath of fresh air in a lot of the movies that are coming out these days. Um, it's not a horror movie. It's more of a suspense thriller type thing. You, you kind of know what's going to happen from the get-go, but the way it's shot and the musical score, which is performed by Marco Beltrami, that's who. He might also know from iRobot, World War Z, um, The Wolverine, Live Free or Die Hard. He's been around. Really drives the point home of how well this movie was made. The ending could have had a little something more. My girlfriend and I disagree on the ending. I kind of liked it. She kind of didn't. It leaves it open for another one. It doesn't make sense to do another one. It's a damn good movie. The beginning is a little... I get the whole point of, you know, silence, no talking. Beginning was a slow grind. I was bored in the first five minutes. Once the movie starts, it starts, does well. Even when it slows down again, they they recover well. It, it's well done. Considering we don't actually have a grade scale in place for movies or games yet, I'm going to give this movie a solid B. I think it's definitely worth a C. In theaters is fun too, because the whole place is silent. It's just dead silent. Everybody's holding their breath. If somebody sneezes, the whole place is like, what? It's a, it's a fun experience to have in theaters. It's not too long. It runs about an hour and a half, so you don't have to get bored. You don't have to cramp. You can go do what I did and watch it in reclining seats. Let me know if you guys have seen it. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what the next movie you're going to go see is. And stay freaky. Man, I'm really awkward at doing these reviews.